Let's get into this all city. Let's see what bro talking secret. about. The rec center needs changes and it needs them ASAP. I feel like rec gameplay and the popularity for the rec game mode kind of caught the 2K devs off guard. The park game mode collapsed. What? Absing from what it once was to what it is right now, not nearly as popular as it used to be. And the rec center and pro am arenas taking up that. He's capping. Slack. In this video, we're going to be reviewing some great ideas that the community has for the rec center. You guys be sure to share your thoughts in the comment section. You just never know who might see this video and take your ideas and implement them into 2K. One thing that. You know what? That's very, very odd. No, okay. That's not odd. It's, it's, I can't find a word I'm looking for, but that is very interesting. That's the word. It's very interesting that he mentioned that because there's a lot of that going on. With the devs and the community right now, they see what we're saying. They see all of our ideas. They're seeing and hearing what we're talking about. And it's just never no idea on who's going to take those ideas and run with them on their platforms, you know. So y'all, y'all be, y'all be cool, you know, y'all be cool. But I see it. I've actually, I've see it. I see it, you know. And that's that's cute. It's cute for the most part that I can say about my experience playing the rec center is that it doesn't feel immersive. A lot of players in the community feel like there needs to be like a solos rec center where everybody is a random and team. That needs to be a thing. We need to split the community up between who's running fives. If you come in there with three players. You should be matched up against people that came in there with three to five players. If you come in there with three players, you should be matched up. No, 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 no. Take that back. If you come in there with two players, that makes it fair. You come in with two players, you should be matched up with only people that came in there with another person or five, two to five players. If you come in the wreck by yourself solo, you should be matched up with only solo players. And that is the best idea I've heard. Congratulations to All City. Y'all go over to All City Live TV. Subscribe to bro. He's, he puts up some good ideas, bro. Teams cannot go in there. So there needs to be a solo wreck and a squads wreck. And I already know, so save it. You can still leave your comments, but oh my God, I don't want to hear it anymore. Players, a lot of players in the community feel, hey, if you got a squad, go to Pro-Am and that's what Pro-Am is for. But in my opinion, from what I've experienced, right. Pro-Am is more for squads that usually just run solely together. And if you're anything like me, you're part of a much larger gaming community where your squad members may vary from day to day so you're changing up your squad and this is where like a rec squads 5v5 type of mode or entrance into the rec center will definitely come in handy for the 2k community this i'm i'm all the way on board with that i feel like we would benefit from that way more than what's going on now what's going on now is i'm gonna enter the rec center by myself i'm gonna get in there with a squad of four people or three people that came in there on my team, I got a, you know, buddies that's not going to pass me the ball. That's not going to play regular basketball. What they're going to do is they're going to be team minded between themselves. They're going to say that I'm butter and they're not going to pass me the ball. You know, it's rare that they will even invite you to their party. Um, like it happened to me last night in the wreck. I jumped in the wreck last night for some strange reason and. I sold. I'm not going to lie. I sold. My arrow switched to the wrong arrow in a in the last play of the game in a clutch situation. And I left my man open and went with my arrow. And that's my fault. But. That whole game, they was not passing me the ball. They wasn't giving it up. You know, they was throwing it down on a break or something if I was down there. But for that part, for the most of that part, they was throwing the ball to the wrong person on a break to not give me the balls. You know what I mean? So. Either way, it's just toxic. Wrecking's a toxic place. We all know that. The rec center is a very toxic place, and it's rare that you come across randos that are good or randoms that are teamed up together that 
that will accept you on the court with them. You know, so in that in that level of toxicity, it needs to be split up. That's a very good idea that he came up with right there. Congratulations to All City for that idea. Thank you for putting that out there. And I hope that it could be in- implemented into 2K24 because we need, we definitely need a system better than what's going on now. I can I cannot tell you the amount of times that I walk into the rec center and get shunned by a team of players that have no interest in having me on a team, but they didn't have five. So they had to have me on a team because matchmaking is the, that's the way matchmaking works. I feel like, I feel like the game could be better. And this is an idea that can make the game loads better. There's nothing worse for randoms to be going into the rec center and getting dropped off by a full on squad. And I'm sorry. It's nothing worse than that feeling. It is nothing worse than going into the rec center and you come up against a team of five. I was in there last night for the first time in weeks and we up against a team of five. They run it five out. I was at the center spot. So I'm the center stretched me to the corner and then the rest of my team don't have no idea how to defend the paint. It just was a mess, bro. It was a mess. And you know what happens after that? One of your teammates is going to leave. Somebody has to leave. Nigga, somebody's going to dashboard because they'd rather be playing tiddlywinks with their girl or something instead of getting dropped off in the wreck. You know, it's just it's just happens. It's bound to be one person who's whose folks is sitting there like they folks is sitting there watching them play the game and they sitting there getting dropped off and they like, oh, nah, cut this off. Cut this off. You might as well just lead this whole game. But no, nah, that's just how it goes. It's one person that definitely is going to say, nah, we getting dropped off. I'm out. Four points into the first quarter, eight points into the first quarter or something. They out of here. It's not worth it to them. And I get that. I mean, I can re- I can respect it. No, nah, I can't respect it. You logged in. You came in here so low and you can't just bounce because you feel like whatever. That's neither here nor there. What the main concern is, is. We need a better matchmaking system in this wreck. We need a way better matchmaking system because I'm tired of running up against that team of five that's not going to have no remorse for what's going on on the court and then having teammates on the court that are negligent and overlook you because you didn't come in there with their squad. Concrete. But I'm one of those squads that are dropping y'all off. I'm sorry, man, but it is what it is. I enjoy going into the rec center because I don't always run with the same people. So I understand your pain and I'm not trying to knock y'all. I believe there should be a solos rec and also a squads rec. That'd be good for everybody. And I think that's a fair compromise. One other. That is a fair compromise right there. Yeah, y'all go watch all city live video if y'all want to tap in with it. We're not going to watch this whole thing. I think I liked it. Yeah, I liked the video already. All City Live TV, man. Y'all go over there, tap into his video, like his video. Um, that's it for me for today. We're going we gonna to tap out of this thing because we got other things to do. It has been Rick and Forties with you. We've been, we been getting it done. Y'all be cool.